time. So I was walking towards the stage, but I really had no idea how I was supposed to get up there and do what I was told to do. I was in fifth grade, and I grew up in East Boston. And I went to uh, elementary school with James Lewis, and it was a tradition for the fifth graders to present the play. And this year, to our love, we were presenting the musical Oklahoma. And um, as I was pacing back and forth backstage, I'm wondering, like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to stand up in front of everybody? Because for those of you who don't know, didn't know, I was one of those kids that nobody liked. I was that kid in the corner that was like, eh, that kid, I don't know his name. The kid that does the homework every night. That kid over there. And I'm sitting there, and I'm wondering, and I started remembering the whole production of the play, but mainly I remembered the first time we were picked. I could see about 100 fifth graders sitting in the room all looking at each other, wondering when is he going to come, when is he going to get here, our drama instructor. Because see, this man had no physical reason to be intimidating. He was short at nine, he was bald and skinny. He really had no reason to be intimidating, yet his presence was so overtaking because he had so much experience in drama that you felt so many skills if you were not there. And he walks in, staring everybody down like a bird of prey, chest up, and he starts speaking. Today is going to be the day that you will start the production for the play. But you must understand, if you do not give me your best, you will fail. I do not care if you're honor students, I don't care if you get straight days, you fail. Because this play is important to me. What is it? Oh my god. He's like, Matthew! <laughs> yeah, what, what's up? Sing Oh What a Beautiful Morning by Curly. And Curly was the main character of the play, and I was dying because I did not want this part. I was like, oh my god, this is a bad hit. He's like, sing! Do, do, do I have to? He's like, you fail! Okay, okay but I'll say it. I'll say it. And as I started singing, I realized that by the time I was done singing, I saw this very serious man start clapping. <laughs> Look at the part that was so beautiful! And I was like, I don't want the part. I was like, too bad you get it. <laughs> and that made me smile. And by the time I came back from that reminiscence, I was on stage. And I learned about myself that not only this was the first time that I was on stage, but it was also the first time that I actually learned how to be myself that I forgot that I was that shy kid, and I learned how to express myself. And that first time in theater made me the person I am today. Yeah.